So tonight, bombshell developments in the Joe Carollo civil trial. Attorneys for the Miami City Commissioner calling for a mistrial, and Carollo was nowhere to be seen in the courtroom today. And local 10 Ian Margo is in Miami right now with it all for us today. Yeah. Yeah, the biggest thing coming out today, that filing for a mistrial. Defense attorneys for Carollo filing that today, and the allegations inside of that mistrial are extraordinarily interesting about what they are saying someone very close to these plaintiffs may have done last week. A bombshell court filing Tuesday. Attorneys for City of Miami Commissioner Joe Carollo moving for a mistrial in his ongoing federal civil case. The commissioner go. is being sued by Miami businessmen Bill Fuller and Martin Pena, who allege Carollo go. repeatedly go. abused go. his power harassing them and hurting their companies, all because they supported his political opponent in 2017. But now there are questions about whether or not one of their business associates made inappropriate contact with a juror. The defense's motion, which was made on Monday but filed on Tuesday, revealed one of the jurors had reported being followed into an elevator at the parking garage across from the courthouse by a man who routinely sat with the plaintiffs. The juror said when they both got out on the same floor, the man allegedly told him, quote, you need to go on social media, on the internet, and see that people have been followed, and you need to see what this defendant is capable of. That man was identified as Zach Bush, a business partner of the plaintiffs and co-owner of Ball and Chain Restaurant, and his suggestion would have violated the court's order for jurors not to go on social media or to do research about the case. The motion for a mistrial was denied, but Bush, who had been in court routinely for the trial so far, was not there on Tuesday. Jurors today also heard from more employees of Ball and Chain who said there were a lot of raids and there was a lot of unwarranted scrutiny on the restaurant. Former city manager Emilio Gonzalez back on the stand again today as well. He said, quote, that Carollo had unbridled fixation on Fuller's properties. Carollo himself was supposed to be on the stand today as well. However, he did not come. His lawyer said he was having issues with his asthma. Instead, he was at the doctor's office. Testimony will continue again tomorrow morning. Of course, we can be posted every step of the way. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News. All right, Ian.